Hi there, so we just had the first day of the trial and today was basically dedicated to selecting the jurors. There were about 50 jurors which then was um, selected down to about 30 and then the final 12 were, were actually selected at 4.30 p.m. Uh, just being there the whole day, I got a chance to actually see both the prosecutor and my brother who decided to defend himself a question about about 30 different jurors and what we learned from the jurors and, and is that uh, they're asked questions around um, you know what are their feelings around Muslims what are their feelings about South Asians and about Islam and if they've heard things in the media what they have learned and that there's a there's like an overwhelming uh, sense of Islamophobia that was actually present there were jurors who actually communicated that yes they they have fear uh, they fear um, Muslims and then other jurors have uh, uh, another juror has communicated that a lot of uh, he used to work for the air the airline uh, in the airline industry and then also uh, in the military and a lot of those experiences has painted his perception around how, what he feels about how he feels about Islams and and about Islam and then about Muslims and that he has a negative attitude around around um, Islam and Muslims Another uh, juror actually communicated that he's learned um, lots of things from the mass media and that he, because of, because of uh, what he's learned from mass media, he has a negative perception of Muslims as well. And, uh, and so it just kind of goes to kind of really point at the kind of like the, the current Georgia um, attitude and culture that exists and around uh, people of Muslim backgrounds. And that to me is a concern because I just, I, 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 I just wonder like how fair of a trial will this really be given the context that we're living in, the uh, Islamophobic environment and, and, a, and a context that, that this trial is taking place in, in this day and time, um, given it's you know, to 2009, and just, uh, you know, about eight years or so post 9-11. Um, so in that sense, I'm really concerned about my brother, and especially because he's now defending himself. He doesn't have a law background. You know, he has been in solitary confinement for about, you know, over 1,100 days, and uh, assaulted there, and, and the trauma, and the emotional, and the psychological impact that has had on him, besides the fact that, like, my mother has communicated, um, his health has deteriorated tremendously, and so just the tremendous pressure that comes from that. I just, I, I feel like, um, you know, it's going to be a really difficult, difficult uh, trial.